They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said I'd never amount to anything. But I'm glad to say that you're on your way and you're growing more. us. 
The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And this sermon today is going to be called, When the Lord is on your side. When you have a relationship with God, it doesn't matter who is against you. It doesn't matter who tries to destroy you. When the enemy is around you on every side, if you know the Lord and you have him on your side and you've been born again and has accepted Lord Jesus as your Savior and you have received the Spirit of the Holy Spirit, it doesn't matter who is on your side or who is against you because God is more than the whole world against you. He said when the enemy comes in and rises up He'll raise up a standard against him that the enemy cannot cross. Amen. Ain't that good news yes. today? Yes. And you have to know that when you're going through the storm, that God is your refuge and he's your strength. He's your help when you need him the most. He's a help in the time of trouble. When you're going through your storms, let the glory of the Lord rise upon you. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength because that is what all you need to go through your battle. Exodus 14, 14 tells us, The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. That means when you ask the Lord to fight your battle, all you got to do is just peace be still and the Lord will fight your battle for you. He said, don't be afraid when the enemy comes up at you. It's just like the three little pigs and the wolf. The wolf kept going up to their house, huffing and puffing, trying to blow their house in. But they were not, and he was not able to destroy the three little pigs. So he said, when the enemy comes at you, no matter what he comes at you with or how he comes at you, do not be afraid because God is with you. He is on your side. He said, don't get scared. Don't get the trembling in your boots. Because the enemy will threaten you. The enemy will say all kind of things to you. The enemy will intimidate you. The enemy will try to overcome you with words. The enemy will try to tell you how much more powerful they are than you are. But the Bible said, don't be afraid. Don't be terrified. Don't start trembling. Don't panic when the enemy comes at you. But remember, the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you and save you. It is not you yourself that saves you. So he lets us know not to try to fight your own battles. The battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. So you need to put it in his hand and let the Holy Spirit fight it for you. God is more powerful than Satan. He made Satan. So don't try to fight your own battles, but let the Lord do it for you. Because he said he is more for you. He is more than the whole world against you. Amen. Don't let others try to fight your battles for you. If you're in a relationship or if you're on the job, don't let somebody else try to fight your battles with you, for you. Because your battle is not with the flesh and blood. Your battle is with the powers, the principalities, the rulers of the air, and spiritual wickedness in high places. So you don't need somebody else to fight your battle for you. You only need God and the Holy Spirit to fight for you. He said, let God be your defense. He can defend you from anything. He can defend you from yourself. He can defend you from others. He can defend you from animals. He can defend you from any threats that come your way. He defended me the weekend from that snake that was ready to bite me. So he can be your defense. He can defend you from the dangers that you see and from the dangers that you don't see. Because some dangers can be coming at you that you don't see. I had a danger the other night that was coming at me in my sleep. I was, it was like a car or something coming toward me in my sleep. And it was coming directly at me. I could feel the impact of it. But just before it hit me, 
the Lord let me wake up. And so he protected me in my sleep from the demonic attacks. And when you let the Lord be on your side, you will be victorious in everything that you do. The enemy can't defeat you no matter how hard he tries. He can roar like a lion, but he can't defeat you when God is on your side. It doesn't matter what the odds are against you. It may be 1,000 against one, but they can't defeat you. Not when the Lord is on your side. When you let him fight the battle, he will defend you. It doesn't matter if it's a million against you. When the Lord is on your side, it doesn't matter what your odds are. Because God is more powerful than anything or anyone that can come against you, even whole armies. So don't be afraid when the odds are against you. It doesn't matter what your circumstances look like. It doesn't look matter if it looks like you won't overcome your circumstances. It don't matter if it look like you're going to be in poverty forever. It doesn't matter if it don't look like you'll ever get a new car or a new home. Don't worry about that. God is more than your circumstances. He's, over, he's able to overcome any circumstance. He can overcome it overnight. He can overcome it in a second. So it doesn't matter what your circumstances look like. God can change them in an instant. And then it doesn't matter how hopeless your situation looks. God, you, you have went to the doctor and the doctor told you that you got a disease that can't be healed. You got cancer that can't be healed. He's told you that you only have a few months to live. It doesn't matter how it looks. God can turn a hopeless situation around. My brother-in-law who recently died, he had cancer for 10 years. They gave up on him and told him he wasn't going to make it many a times. But he's lasted 10 years. My son had cancer when he was one. They told him there was nothing they could do for him. They didn't even want to give him radiation and chemo. They said that his situation was hopeless. They didn't even want to cut him open and operate on him, but he's 30 years old today. So it doesn't matter how hopeless your situation looks. God can fix it. Then it doesn't matter if your situation looks bigger than you. Because there's no situation that is bigger than our God. There's no situation that you can face that God can't handle. So it doesn't matter how big the situation looks. Just trust God and hold on to his hand. And when we talk about when God is on your side, we are not talking about a position. Because God is with us wherever we are. He knew us before we was made. He knew us when we was being formed in our mother's womb. He knew what we was going to go through. He knew what we was going to have to face in this life. And he was there. He was there when we were being made. He was there when we was being born. He was there when we came into existence. And he'll be there when we die. He's always there with us. And he's always on our side. So don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about what you're facing. Because God is all around us. One thing about it, he said in his word, he would never leave us or forsake us. He won't let us get out there when we are his servants in the middle of the battlefield and walk away and leave us. He'll be right there with us to the end until we are victorious. He's not going to forsake you when you're going through a battle. He's not going to leave you when you're going through a sickness. He's not going to leave you when your finances get low. He's still going to be right there if you trust him. He said he will never leave or forsake you. He will stick closer to you than a brother. When your friends walk away, when your spouse walk away, when your friends walk away, God is still there. When you feel like you're all alone and nobody's there with you, God is still there. He's there as your friend and he says all you have to do is cry out to him and he will answer you. All you have to do when you're going through your circumstances, ask God for his help. He already know what you need. He knew that you was going to need what you needed before you did. Amen. So all you have to do is ask him. He already know, but he wants you because you are, he is your father, is to ask him for what you want. And he will grant it. He said no good thing will he withhold from you. 